I've been a heavy user of digital devices for most of my life. I like to own the latest model of the gadgets. I know that they make our life more efficient. But on the other hand, I also uh, realized that our planet is very finite and uh, there is a big environmental impact. The average person uses 200 electronic devices during their lifetime. It means that every single person produces one ton of e-waste in their life. The average uh, global recycling rate is 17.4%. So it means that 82.6% of the e-waste is either not properly recycled or outright dumped in the landfill. What most people don't realize is 2-3% uh, e-waste. It contributes 70% of the toxicity. Nature does not have a way of dealing with such a concentration of toxic heavy metals. Eventually, the toxic heavy metals are going to reach our rivers and then they are going to reach the human food chain. So that's why we need to, we need to fix it. Earth, which stands for Electronic Recycling Through Heroes, is actually a freelance network of gig economy workers, what we call heroes, to go around and collect e-waste from households and businesses. One of Earth's proudest innovations is the fact that we actually looked at e-waste as valuable resources. In our three years, we have uh, diverted more than 500,000 kilograms of e-waste. We have so far repaired more than 2,000 devices and we have donated 10% of them completely free of charge to B40 students. There are some aspects of our business that are maybe not fully digitized yet. And I think that this is where uh, our partnership with Maxis is very special because they already have a system, the M Workforce system, in order to completely automate the driver dispatch and tracking, as well as the real-time tracking of the order status. And this we expect to boost our productivity by at least 10 times, but even possibly up to you know 100 times or more. The Maxis Award was very special for us because, number one, uh, it was a vote of support from one of the largest organizations in Malaysia for the work that we are doing. So they want to be an active part of solving this problem. And I hope that actually more people and more companies, more entrepreneurs enter this space because I don't see that we are competing against each other. I see that we are all on the same team competing against the landfill because the landfill is still the biggest recipient of e-waste in the country.